All right, here's what I'm going to build. So we have this app here running locally. It's the job board of Elixirator. And it has lots of different job listings. And some of them are remote, some of them are not. And what we want to build is we want to visualize how many remote job listings we have and how many on-site job listings we have. So the result's going to look like this. Livebook app that we can see the number of on-site and remote job listings and we can filter by only the job listings that are currently published or all the job listings in the history of the job board. So let's do it. Our first step would be to connect our notebook to our Phoenix app. So let's go and start our Phoenix app. We're going to give this short name Phoenix app and the cook is going to be secret. And once that's done, we can add the remote execution smart cell, the name of the node here, uh, the cookie, we're going to save in a secret, I'm going to name it cookie. And once we do that, we can call code from that other node. So for example, here we have this module job and this function all. And I can also call the same code from the notebook. And this function is just going to return all the job postings on database. And let's assign that to this jobs variable. Perfect. Now we want to, we want to plot that in a chart. Let's use the chart smart cell for plotting that data. But first we need to change the shape of our data to fit into that format, a map of arrays. Let's count the number of remote and on-site jobs. So we have about 400 jobs that are on-site and almost 700 that are remote jobs. Okay. Well, let's put that in a map. Now we have our data set. And we can already plot it here. Let's increase the width. Set height, change the type to bar. And there we have it. Now we can also share the result we have so far in a Livebook app. So let's deploy this notebook as a Livebook app. I'm going to call it matrix. And here it is. Perfect. Now the next and last step is going to be to add some interactivity to our app. We're going to add a select input so one can filter if they want to plot all of the jobs that we have in the database or only the ones that are currently published in the job board. Let's do that. Let's add our filter. We're going back to the notebook and we want to add the filter after we, we, we get all of the jobs. So let's have the Kino input here. I'm going to call it filter job. Postings and the values are all or only published. Default is all. Okay. So now we want to react to that future. Let's listen to the events of that future. So 
Let's see if this works. Yes, here, here are the events. I mean, what, what I want to get is this value, all or only publish it. So what we want to do is if the filter is all, then we want to plot all of the job postings. So our data set is going to be something like, let's create, let's imagine that we have a module called helpers that we can filter the jobs. And then the filter is all. And then we also could have another function in that module called plot chart. And we're going to plot the chart into a kind of frame, this data set, and the chart title is going to be remote. Okay, and if the value is only published, then it's more or less the same, but then we only want the published the job postings and I'm gonna change the title as well to only published jobs. Now we need to create that module and also create this in the frame variable. Let's create the helpers module and those two functions that we need. So what's gonna have this F module helpers and then we're gonna have this future jobs function. It's going to receive the jobs to be filtered and the filter and with the filter is all, then it just returns all of the jobs. And if the filter is only published, then you want to, to filter by only the jobs that are published. Okay, and now that we have the jobs, we just want to shape the data. We're going to copy and paste that from here. And then we have our, our filter jobs. And the other function is going to be the plot chart. It receives a kind of frame, a data set to be plotted, and a chart title. And code for that, we are going to, to copy the code that was generated by our smart cell. So I can click this button here to see the source code. I'm just going to copy that here, format, make the title, and, and then I can render that chart into the frame. Yes. Oh, I don't need that. Okay. Now I only need the, yeah, the frame variable. So let's, let's create a kind of frame here. And then once the app is booted, we want to already show the default value for the chart. So it's going to be their jobs. We want all of the jobs and we can plot that into that frame. Okay. 
the title. Yes, it worked. I'm going to delete those cells that we don't need anymore. The smart cell we don't need anymore. So let's reevaluate that. And let's see if this works. So if I change that to only publish it. Yes, it changed it. If I change again to all, it changed again. Perfect. So let's deploy this new version. Version 2 deployed. I'm going to open this. Then here it is. All of our job postings uh, being plotted in this chart. And I can change this, the filter, and yes, it's working. That's it.